Hi Hensters, I hope you're well. Welcome back to the channel and if you're new, welcome to Don't Mind If I Moisture Um The weather is really weird <laughs> here in London. It's like hot-ish and then it's cold and cloudy and then it's dry and then it's a little moist and today it's a bit dry and cloudy. So you gotta stay moisturized, haven't you? Um, happy new moon in Taurus. That's the topic of this video, and it's gonna be kind of a bit more of a quick one, a bit more off the cuff one, because I have a lot to do today. But I hope you're well. Check out the description box below if you'd like to read some stuff about my services that I'm currently offering every month. Or season I kind of offer slightly different things different rates so something might tickle your fancy right now um let me just get me coffee um and we have then yes this new moon on Friday 19th so very 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 soon new moon and what is a new moon then? Well, you might know that I already made a video on new moons and full moons. I'll pop it in this video as a card so you can look at later if you want to get a bit more deep on new moons, but very basically they are moments which happen once a month and they are moments when the sun and the moon are on the same degree. So actually it's a Kazemi because the moon is in the middle of the sun and they are moments of zeal. They are moments of intention. So you'll often hear people say, set an intention. Um, they are also fresh starts, great time for like new beginnings and all that jazz. And we've got this new moon this time in Taurus, which is the fixed feminine shadow earth sign which is venus ruled the very feminine side of venus hmm. and we've spoken quite a bit about venus recently actually we've got actually right now venus in cancer you can check out my video on venus in cancer i already did a video on taurus season and the Mercury retrograde in Taurus and we've just got from um, yesterday Jupiter entering Taurus. Jupiter starting like a year-long transit there so there's lots that we can say about Taurus and Venus and the temples that she rules right now especially Taurus so check out my videos on all of that but new moons are also kind of like bloodshed now often if you're a bit witchy like me you'll find that around the new moon date, you kind of cut yourself a little bit on accident, little nicks and snags, that kind of thing. And especially if blood is drawn, then that new moon for you is quite uh, important or is quite the spiritual invitation to set a particular intention or even you are being introduced into a new ritual of sorts. Um, but more generally, new moons for us are renewed or new commitments. And because this is in Taurus, I'm getting like new commitments to things like health, exercise, body. This is also um, <laughs> power trips. Now, especially if you are a Taurus, Taurus rising, this can just really add fuel to the fire for some people because this is like uh, power trips, this is preachy trips, this is like people who are extremely stubborn now and kind of in the over the top moments. Yeah, this is also like DJ vibes though, this is like getting very musical or carnal, getting into it and this is sensuality, that carnal pleasure and sometimes also it can be a bit cringe uh, it can be things especially you know often you find with taurus heavy men especially 
the the lengths of stubbornness they will go to sometimes is quite astounding. Mm. And in this new moon, because new moons are moments of zeal, you might find that the, this person is just embarrassing or very cringeworthy around the new moon <laughs> because they just won't budge on something, they won't admit something, or they won't eat some crow. This type of person or type of experience is quite likely around the new moon for some because we just have the moon which is exalted in Taurus as well and it's a new moon so we get a lot of zealousness and we get a lot of what I call Disneyland um, sort of energy plus the exaltation the exaltation so yeah the new moon energy plus the exaltation Disneyland energy just can make some people go way over the top and um, also what I'm getting though for others with this new moon in Taurus is sensible intentions. So again, intention setting, but like really using common sense. Um, and also there's this sense of unfuck with ability. Taurus has that energy, <laughs> a kind of undeniable feminine confidence can really be captivating us or some of us right now and also this is a great time for like old teachers um, or guides or academics uh, to present something it's a great time to go and see someone present something especially if they are established they have a lot of knowledge about something this is the hierophant in the tarot type of energy with taurus and with a new moon in Taurus, it's like maybe there's something very exciting or monumental about this person that you go to see, um, to hear their talk. It could be a YouTube video or a TED talk or something like that, that you hear around the new moon that is just quite ex inspiring or very informative and educational, yes, but in the sense that it spurs you on to something. And for some people, it might set them on like a month long transit it might also have you barking to everyone about it because it'll be Gemini season as well and we've got some lovely dogs uh, just barking outside right now so it might be something to cause a fuss about you know uh, maybe you're the one as well given the presentation now also with this new moon in Taurus it can bring for us a feeling like a feeling great after all that's kind of been lost you know we're coming out finally of these nodal eclipses and especially with the full moon eclipses they've been quite tough for a lot of people um and they've kicked off these kind of six month up to six months sort of cycles or or shadows or waves and I think with this new moon in Taurus it kind of is like a cherry on the top of the eclipse nodal cake <laughs> it's sort of yeah feeling great finally or after all that has been lost or that has been regretted and it's kind of like all that's said and done and there's like a sense of finality and you know we are entering the second light season of the astrological year very soon Gemini season so we are getting the first mutable season and one that is i think really going to and I'm, I'm gonna contain my excitement watch the video on sun in gemini gemini season video coming soon but i do think yes it's going to uh, really give a lot of people a lot of confidence about the things that they are resolute about the things they have been resolute about and the spark that they kicked off in or around aries season also, this can bring, with the new moon in Taurus, big self-indulgence. Of course, we have this Venus-ruled Earth sign, Earth temple transit, this lunar moment, this exaltation moment as well. So big self-indulgence, big time sensuality. And for others, this is like being resolute to put an end to something or being resolute to complete something as well. So it's quite interesting this one because Taurus is a fixed sign and the fixed signs they close things they finish things off there are they are often that kind of icing on the cake to a particular cycle 
or time period for you or experience or ordeal for you but when it's a new moon it's like a resolution to end something so some of you might be setting an intention around this date to finish something after about a month this as i said is also nutrition this new moon in taurus like comfort food and like new addictions as well watch out for that because taurus is on that taurus scorpio axis it is on a shadow axis as well and so and it's the moon <laughs> so there's a lot of wild new addictions that can capture people some people if they're not careful you know taurus is like nymph in the forest energy it's hypnotic energy very often and it's a shadow energy so beware of new addictions but also just finally i think this is like a genuinely um nice good feeling kind of new moon um feelings of like the better and the lighter and the more cheerful things to come um, so I think generally for most people, this is going to be a good new moon. We're going to start a good month ahead. Now, if you're Taurus rising specifically, then this is an activation of spirit, body, aura, health. And it could just be for you, like just more of this icing on the cake because there's so much going on in your first house, Taurus rising right now with Uranus, with the Mercury retrograde, which just ended with Jupiter just entering your first house. So there's a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, <laughs> let me know in the comments, by the way, where you are having this new moon. What is your rising sign? Where do you have Taurus? Um, if you're Gemini rising, this is like hidden things being revealed. This is new trips uh, abroad, maybe even, or just like far away. Not necessarily because you want to take these trips, but there could be an element of having to travel in the next month. Cancer rising, this is uh, like make a wish, bish. Like <laughs> this is uh, new blessings. It's in the house of good spirits. So you have that new moon in the house of good spirit where jupiter has just entered jupiter has its joy by the way in the 11th house and so there's a lot going on for cancer risings as well this is new blessings for your friends cancer risings or any allies you might have so you could see them also getting really good news starting a brand new cycle and also this is like that dream come true feeling for many cancer risings Leo rising then this is your career this is like big changes um committing to big changes Leo rising it could be a little friction because this is a fixed sign square so it could be a little friction but I'm reading it from most of you Leo risings as mainly like an exciting challenge or exciting itch to do something career oriented. Virgo rising then, this is purposeful trips this time or travel. Um, this is also like big time um, optimism. This can also be like ecstatic faith for some of you. So beware, <laughs> uh, some Virgo risings, this could be that sort of, um, over the top elation okay libra rising this is like your contracts so making new contracts this is a big lazy indulgence as well the eighth house is where we find indulgence or like idleness and laziness um waste so beware of like overindulging or overindulge if you want i don't care it's up to you libra rising and um, this is also new inherited opportunities potentially Scorpio rising then this is new stuff or good news for all that new moon stuff for your partners uh, if you have partners this is also a good time to find a new partner um, this is also other people in your life being elated you might just be witnessing someone having that OTT moment or that Disneyland exalted new moon moment Sagittarius rising then this is a uh, new health commitments this is a new employee perhaps or a new appointee or someone you are hiring a new for some service this month 
or it's a good time to invest in that to do that capricorn rising this is like a new happy commitment to your livelihood and all the good fortune that you have it's kind of like looking at your plate looking what you already have on your plate and being grateful for that um, or feeling really good about that perhaps this is also conceptions conception yes of real children conception of brand new creative ideas uh, you could feel like you're flying as well in some creative sense you could be having a lot of fun this is uh, an earth sign moment a new moon in a fixed earth sign you are cardinal so you might just be being asked around this full moon to let yourself go a bit more Capricorn and also it's a time for some of you to take a big risk although obviously assess the risk um, but if you've been feeling that it's something that you should do the new moon could be a marker to do it now Aquarius rising we've got new feelings uh, of home or about your family or roots where you've come from this is like familial sensitivity but like good this is uh, security as well feeling rooted uh, this is also like a new pronounced sense of self for some people and it feels like it's coming from somewhere hidden or unknown um or from your ancestors even so this is very exciting aquarius rising maybe you're just feeling really good about how you've been able to establish a home or set roots for your family pisces rising then we've got in your case the themes of friends being activated and siblings even and new worshiping of things or literally places of worship becoming more significant maybe a particular ceremony becomes highlighted at a place of worship this is also wonderful dreams for some of you and consulting diviners astrologers readers and finally aries rising then this is a time for a new seed to be planted or watered and to try to grow something new and it's also things like new spending and a commitment also to your loyalties, Aries rising. All right, that's what I've got. I'll see you in the next one, my loves. Have a great hump day and lovely new moon in Taurus.